County officials say that 16 year old victim was simply walking here by the community center when she was shot. They say there was no specific event going on here, but it's raising new questions about potential increases in security and sparking more calls for change. An eerie silence looms over Horatio Grisby Park. A stark contrast to the gunshots that hit a 16 year old girl two nights earlier and the voices sounding off in reaction. We can't really walk them in through our seven nights. That's one of my biggest concerns. James Mon's son Jalen was nearly an unintended target of a shooting himself. The 4.7 GPA student was at a high school graduation party where five people, including three teens, were shot just two weeks ago. Yeah, that was that was a scare for me just to know that him and my youngest son were at this at this party where, you know, this kid just came in there and was shooting and I just feel like I shouldn't have to worry about that. For weeks, we voiced concern from residents over recent gun violence. It hurts. This latest is feet away from where an all star Little League game was to play this weekend. The day after the shooting there, the game was moved to Citrus Grove Park. Organizers declined to tell us why, but the decision came after parents voiced concern over a lack of security on social media why some of these places aren't manned the way they should be manned. I reached out to officials with the city, county, the police department and sheriff's office. A county representative said they've had recent conversations with city leaders about potentially increasing security at community events, but haven't set anything in motion. This past spring, commissioners did approve the installation of cameras in county parks and allocated that money to the sheriff's office, who's now in charge of installing them. Hi, Sheriff Pearson. This is Kate Hussey. Just uh, returning your phone call. I reached out to Sheriff Keith Pearson. He returned my call and left a voicemail, but didn't call me back when I returned his call three times. Something has to be done. How can we help? Aisha Nash with the St. Lucie County NAACP reached out after seeing our story with the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition's Rayshon Brown. He is now in talks with the city to come help mitigate the violence, yet Nash believes this will take all hands on deck. It, the solution has to be multifaceted, um, and I think the only way that we're going to curb the violence is to keep it at the forefront. And for Pierce, Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.